So some of you are just going to opt out. Fuck it. I'm going for the money. And just be single and rise to the top till I get to the top. And then I'll come back and revisit this issue at a later date. There's nothing wrong with that. Not a damn thing. End of the month. Rest and rejuvenate. And now we're getting close to Thanksgiving now. Or in it. I think Thanksgiving is the 27th or the 28th. Last Thursday of the month. What are people saying? How they acting? Cause you change, you've changed towards. Let's just fuck it. You, you, you're, you're changing. You have changed. You walking past people looking at you all strange and shit. The fuck? Are you gonna jump in there and try and defend what ain't defendable? Cause people are gonna make up their mind about what you doing and how you doing it anyway. And they're gonna have. You could stand there and read them the Constitution in Japanese, French, and Italian. And they still going to come up with some other shit. They're going to say what they want to say about you anyway. Family, friends, whatever. So now, decisions that you are making for yourself on your path. Really bad. If all the advice coming from family and friends ain't making a damn bit of sense to you. Y'all have a good evening. I'm going to bed. Good night. Or I'm going out. Good night. Don't be afraid to pull back and get to you. Do what you want to do. That's the best way I can put this. Regardless, because you're the only one, while I'm not walking your path, your mama not walking your path, your neighbor ain't walking your path, your kids ain't walking your path, your man, your woman ain't walking, you walking your path. Just you. And, and the energy here is about advice. People just, you know, Trying to run off at the mouth and tell you what they don't know. Take a break from that shit. I, I've said in another, we go get you some crayons and a coloring book and do you. You don't. You don't have to take everybody's advice. Somebody needs to hear that. You, you don't. It's your path. I'll leave it there. I'm gonna let it hang like that because somebody needs to, to hear and know that. It's your path. You can walk it the way you want to walk it. You can do it on roller skates, ice skates, ATV, bus, limousine, however you want to roll down your path. You don't have to listen to everybody with their herb thing. The high priestess right here with the throat chakra. I say, I speak. Yeah, I speak. What are you speaking into existence, Taurus? Okay, fuck the high priestess. Let's just fuck all that stupid shit. It, it ain't there. All you see now is a lady with a crystal ball. For real. With the moon hanging up in, in the sky. That's, that's what you see. What are you speaking into existence? What are you who doing into existence? It's a thought. It's just a thought. But what are, what, what are you manifesting? What are you speaking into your life? Once again, loud mouths over here. Girl, you know, you ain't even done that no way. Yeah, let's get rid of him. Get another one. But what are you, towards speaking into existence? What are you? Not what somebody else is. Not even what I'm saying. What are you manifesting? What are you speaking? We get right here to the end of the month. <laughs> and it's just like that. You will feel like you got it all. Because a lot of you, this is a lot of process here. I'm talking fast and moving fast. This is a lot of process here. Come back and watch this video. Come back and watch next week's weekly video. Watch this weekend's update for tours. Watch all of this shit. Because there's pieces here. And I, because of time, I can't sit here and do the three-hour class. And tie it up in a bow. But there are things here that are tying into the other readings that have bigger implications in the month of November. And you know it. I'm, I'm sitting here talking to you, but you know it. When you get to the end of all of this, what are you going to be moving on from towards? Because you're here. This is, this is our energy all day. Any pentacle is earth energy, and fuck it, I'll just say it's Taurus energy. I don't care. Virgo, Capricorn, let's just all go for the ride. This is Earth Energy. Coins, we're about that business. And this is where we're going to be at the end of the month, talking about being generous and trying to share the damn wealth. 
Because who, who, who are you going to be sharing it with? Who are you going to be moving on from? Because, again, it's still hanging up in my head. You know, I'm with John Q. Public now. I left little Joey alone. He wasn't good for me, and he shows back up. Where are you going? Who are you going with? And I'm going to say what I said at the beginning of the reading. You can change your mind. What you start out with in the month of November, understand, you can change your mind if you're by yourself because you're choosing to be by yourself. You can change your mind. You don't like Joy no more and you don't like John Q. Public no more and you want to go back to Joy. You can change your mind. But the issue is, is that you can be in a committed relationship. Mm. You want a family. Now all you need to do is speak it into existence. Whatever it is you're trying to do. And there's intuition here. Don't, don't forget the intuition in that third eye chakra. It's at the top in your overall energy. What are you speaking into existence? It don't get no better than that. Oracle cards have for us. Talk shop. That's been popping up a lot. Body talk. That's been popping up a lot. Listen to your heart. Uh oh shit. Fake it till you make it. Exercise your vibes. And what's the one on the top? <laughs> All of these came from the bottom. This one came up off the top. Remember to breathe. This is not the month to be at the water cooler at work or in a parking lot smoking a cigarette at work telling all your damn business, okay? So the people that, it, see, this is, this is the heart of your life, all of this little shit right here. Decisions that you make, things that you walk away from, things that you walk into this next month, this is setting the course for the rest of the year coming up. So shit that's going on right now is setting you up for January. February, March, April, and May. So this shop talk is for only those in the crew. And then I don't even know that I would be telling everybody in the crew. That would be the one or two people you really, really trust in the crew. Because you're going to have to have an outlet. This is a lot of shit to process. You're going to have to have an outlet. So the universe can do its work. And so you can move on with your life. Just a word of caution about who you talking to and who you telling your shit to. Because people are going to want to just snatch up. And, oh, you know, she ain't seeing him no more. I'm going to go there asking for his phone. But you, you hear me. And you really ain't done. Just keep your mouth shut. Keep shit on the DL for the month. Y'all hear me. On the down low. And when them folks walk up to you talking about, oh, bitch, I tell you, miss me with that shit. This is strictly personal. Come on now. Because you're trying to, you really are trying to, number one, get out your head and figure out which way you're trying to go. Period. Everybody don't need to do that. Everybody don't need to hear that. So this is for the select, this is for the elite crew members. That, that group of posse that, you know, you only tell certain things to. But talk so you can get some of this excess energy off of you. I don't know. What else you want me to say? Because you can get that worked up this month. Just breathe, baby. Just breathe. This is life. You're going to get through it. I promise you. Intuition. Intuition. <laughs> Intuition. Exercise your vibes. What the hell, what the hell is that? Vibrational energy. Trust your intuition. I'm just saying, trust it. Listen to your heart. What does your heart want? Because some of y'all are fighting what your heart wants. And a lot of times things are raggedy and shit because you are a part. And the minute you become a couple, whoever this is, whoever I'm talking to, everything changes. So if your heart is about to jump the hell up out your chest, 
And I'm not saying make no dumbass decision. You know, don't leave your five-bedroom mansion to go live in a hovel in a cardboard box in the middle of the street. I'm not saying, but what is your heart telling you to do? What's your body saying? If your stomach, I'm going to say it one more again. If you walk into a room, damn that. If you go out on a date, and 10 minutes into that date, you feel like you, you got the shit. Let me put it where it is. What you thinking? You think that might be why I don't give a damn what you ate for lunch? Is that it? If your body is responding in that manner, is that the person you need to be with? Even in that moment, not for a fucking lifetime, just in that moment. Is that where you need to be? Listen to what your body is telling you. For the month of November, fake it till you make it. But put, do what you need to do. Grind down and do what you need to do. Keep the bills paid, keep shit going. But just know all of this is going on in the background. And you got some decisions to make. And they're not going to be, for a lot of you, they're not going to be the decisions that you think you should be making. <coughs> a lot of you, like I said, when you step into, this is the only imagery I can give you that I know is, is, is close to the truth as it is. There used to be a car called Mercury. A little thing. But um, they, they made a, a series of cars, part of the Lincoln family. And this was like the, the lower end of the Lincoln family, the Mercury. Um, when you step into that car on Thursday, when you walk, you get out of that car to end of November, things will be different. You will be different. Things will be different. I'm hoping all of you have spent some kind of time over the summer meditating, trying to get back to earth, trying to just get yourself grounded. It's off to the races right now. Um, meditate as much as you need to. Try and carve out five or ten minutes every day just to kind of focus on you and what's going on and where you are and where you're going. Don't let the kids drive you batshit nutty. Don't let your spouse drive you nutty. Because some of you are already in long-term existing relationships and this is pertaining to other things. You got kids doing shit. You know, some of your kids may be getting married. Some of them may have graduated from college or getting ready to. And you got all these big decisions coming up. Same thing. Same thing. Taurus, I'm going to leave your monthly here. I love you guys. Y'all are awesome. Y'all leave me wonderful notes and shit. I like that. Have a good weekend. Don't stress too much. I'm going to say between now and Wednesday, sleep. Fuck it. Get as much sleep as you can get. Just get it. Just get some sleep. November's going to be busy. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.